it it is really nice. Like that is the 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 shameless benefit for a company to do this is absolutely yes. that. Like you get people to touch and use your project at a scale that like is big and proving the value of it, especially if it's something like, you know, a Linux distribution that you happen to yeah. be helping out with this or, yep. or some big services. I know we've worked briefly here with Kubernetes with Sig Infra trying to solve some of the network problems mm -hmm. for them too. And it's like, at a certain scale, some of these products are really big and yeah. like proving that your product can handle those needs to people that like also work a day job, something else, doing things that need those services, like it's yeah. really valuable. Yeah, and you, I think you touched on a great point of a perception that open source projects are um, small or smaller than uh, what some company might be doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is because, yeah. And I think some of that is, is a natural thing if we just think about, because we think about some of the early projects we maybe worked on and not realize like how much sure. like these projects tend to get big and start to be used in other companies and such. Uh, but it, it is, it's a, it's a great point around that proving ground because if it works for, uh, you know, 350 contributors for a project yeah. across yeah. time zones around the world, uh, I, it's probably going to work for you in your company of 50 people in, yeah, I, you know, this region. Exactly. Or if it's, you know, I, you know, we're at a little bit different corner being more on the like infrastructure and, yeah. and cloud scaler thing, but it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, we also host flat car and Alpine Linux that are like hundreds of terabytes worth of data transfer a month, oh, yeah. right? And like, if we can do that reliably, like if you're, you, you've deployed a container with yeah. Alpine Linux, right? Like, yeah. and it works. Like it does, <laughs> it works. And yeah, so it, it, it is. <laughs> And, and some of that is... Come is from a, somewhere and go, like, yeah. Yeah, right. And I think some of that is a role of, like, when you think back to, like, communities and, you know, developed relations and, like, even in these open source projects, um, some of that is these open source projects, uh, a, a need that they might have is somebody to help amplify what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people that have a, a like, a great marketing bet uh, of how to take that message and, and do it. Uh, that are looking for ways to contribute. Uh, that again, going back to the isn't just code, right? Uh, or somebody wants to do websites, but they don't want to. You know, they're they maybe aren't working with, you know, down in the Linux kernel uh, sure. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But they would be happily donate their time to build a website. So it's it's again back to like letting them know like this is the thing that can raise other projects. Uh, that can help raise that awareness of we are doing this thing for X companies yeah, for as sure. well. And it's not even like small project. Like you think of websites like, oh, like product needs a little small website. But like I'm thinking of uh, the DevOps Days website, which I think you, you've dealt with organizing in that website before, <laughs> right? Like it is a complex problem with bizarre and unique constraints yeah. that like make it a really interesting challenge. Yeah. And it's like, it, yeah, and we were, it's an all volunteer organization. Mm -hmm. There's no money to pay someone to do this. Right. Like it's, we need someone to work on this challenge. And it's yeah. just, it creates these these yeah. weird, like there are interesting problems to solve out there yeah, for, for sure. Um, and yeah, servicing that stuff is, is all part of it. Yeah.